August 9, 2013, on this channel, Forever the Day, that head coach Chip Kelly made his preseason debut for the Philadelphia Eagles, and Andy Reid debuted with the Kansas City Chiefs, his new team. Over here in Philadelphia, Tom Brady put on a clinic as he drove the Patriots down the field after an opening long run by a Patriot running back to go up 14-7. But the Eagles offense, as anticipated, was like nothing we've ever seen in Philadelphia. The first four possessions split by Michael Vick and Nick Foles, two possession, possessions each, were something to behold. Vick started things off early in the first quarter on the first drive with a 47-yard touchdown pass to Deshaun Jackson, just like the old days, dancing and prancing in the end zone. The next possession ended up with a nice pass to Riley Cooper, however they did punt. Foles got off to a little bit of a rocky start. Someone missed a block. He fumbled. They turned it over. But on the second possession, Foles, with hand signals coming in from the sideline, no substitution, a hurry-up offense indeed, a la Oregon, led the Eagles to a 10-play 66-yard drive, capped off by a Bryce Brown 8-yard touchdown run. So both Nick and Foles were impressive. You can't say one guy completely separated themselves. I don't think... I think the job is fixed to lose, and I don't think he lost it. They were both fabulous. And, of course, Barkley passed for over 100 yards against backups, but he looked good. So the Eagles' offense was not the problem tonight. The defense, however, was shredded not only by Tom Brady, but basically by the Patriots' running game. The Patriots were able to run on the Eagles. And, unfortunately, the Eagles had injuries at the linebacker position tonight, something they could ill afford. They had Casey Matthews and two other linebackers get injured on the night. I don't think they're serious season-ending injuries, but we'll see what happens going forward. But obviously, we have to remind ourselves the Eagles were 4-12 and last year, and as much as I want it to be a one-year turn it around and win the division, the defense wins championships. So no matter who's the quarterback, we can't stop anybody. We may have a long season, but we're all looking forward to watching Nick Foles, Michael Vick, whoever's the quarterback, run this incredible Chip Kelly experiment that we're having here in Philadelphia. Now, speaking of Philadelphia Eagles head coaches, how about former coach Andy Reid? He made his debut against Sean Payton's return for the New Orleans Saints. Of course, Payton missed all of last year with that suspension. The Chiefs were very impressive taking a 10-0 lead. They would go on to lose this game 17-10, but what matters in these first preseason games is what happens while the starters are in. And of course, the new quarterback from San Francisco, the much maligned Alex Smith, who finally turned it on the last couple of years over there on the Bay, came over and looked impressive in the Andy Reid offense. A nice mix of run and pass, Jamal Charles scored on a one-yard run that capped off a drive where Alex Smith had, I think, eight completions. He was very impressive, and this guy is a bona fide starting quarterback, lost his job because of injury and the emergence of Colin Kaepernick. So now, Chip Kelly's got a chip on his shoulder, Andy Reid may also have that after being fired. The Chiefs, unlike the Eagles, do have a good defense. So though they were 2-12 and 12 last year, look for the Chiefs to make some noise out there in AFC this year. So there you have it. The Kansas City Chiefs go down 17-10 to 10 to the New Orleans Saints and Sean Payton, while the Eagles defense struggles against Tom Brady and those vaunted New England Patriots. But the big news of the entire night, Nick Foles and Michael Vick both run the offense of Chip Kelly with precision and excitement. 2013 preseason underway.